by Nartiel goes to the front. Moores Road second now being asked. And then Mick Spadoon being followed by the horse Chestnut coming down towards the second last. And Fine Article is the leader. Safely over, albeit untidy. Mick Spadoon is trying to find renewed effort on the inside of Moores Road and the horse Chestnut running on between them. But Fine Article is shot clear between the final two. Safely over the last from the horse Chestnut who's running on into second. And then Mick Spadoon racing into the closing stages. Fine Article, a beaten favourite on his last two starts. Puts it right here and another festive winner for Mikey Fogarty. Final article beats the horse chestnut mixed with Dune and Moores Road is fourth. Fine article on the outside, and then the horse chestnut who's under pressure and fourth. Straightening up to the jump, Fine article goes to the front. Moore's Road second now being asked, and then Mick Spadoon being followed by the horse chestnut coming down towards the second last, and Fine article is the leader. Safely over, albeit untidy, Mick Spadoon is trying to find renewed effort on the inside of Moore's Road and the horse chestnut running on between them, but Fine article is shot clear between the final two. Safely over the last from the horse chestnut who's running on into second. Second, and then Mick Spadoon but racing into the closing stages. Fine article, a beaten favourite on his last two starts. Puts it right here and another festive winner for Mikey Fogarty. Fine article beats the horse chestnut Mick Spadoon and Moores Road is fourth. Bots and Railway Tommy makes ground towards the inside. Racing down now towards the second last. Jim will fix it. Tackled by Really Unique. On the inside, Railway Tommy. Rue Hill on the stand side. And then Stony Grey Soil. A very bad mistake there. Really Unique went in with a chance. As they come down now towards the final flight. And Railway Tommy on the inside. Driven up by Shane Butler. Rue Hill on the near side. And Jonathan Moore between them as Jim will fix it. And Rue Hill on the near side now is finding that bit extra than Railway Tommy. And as they go towards the line, it's Rue Hill. Who wins from Railway Tommy? Tight third and fourth, three really unique, and Jim will fix it. And they're clear from Blazing West, Stony Grey Soil, and Whiskey and Rye. Jim will fix it in front throughout. Is followed now by really unique Stony Grey Soil. Rue Hill on the outside and the white spots. And Railway Tommy makes ground towards the inside. Racing down now towards the second last. Jim will fix it. Tackled by really unique. On the inside, Railway Tommy. Rue Hill on the stand side. And then Stony Grey Soil. A very bad mistake there. Really unique. Went in with a chance. As they come down now towards the final flight. And Railway Tommy on the inside. Driven up by Shane Butler. Rue Hill on the near side. And Jonathan Moore between them as Jim will fix and Rue Hill on the near side now is finding that bit extra than Railway Tommy and as they go towards the line it's Rue Hill who wins from Railway Tommy tight third and fourth three really unique and Jim will fix it and they're clear from Blazing West Stony Grey Soil and Whiskey and Rye Four, Toon River weakens and then comes Mr. Hotelier. Federici comes up to challenge. Paige Turner on the inside. They've gone on some four lengths in front of Sir Harry Cash over the second last. Slight mistake, slight peck by Federici and Paige Turner is now two lengths in front coming down to the final fence in the Tim Duggan Memorial and Paige Turner is safely over the last from Federici who's trying hard to close on the near side. Paige Turner from Federici who's closing again as they race towards the line but it's Paige Turner all the way in the Tim Duggan Memorial Handicap Chase has won it for Ambrose McCurtain and John Joe Walsh, Federici a game second make a track back in third then Sir Harry Cash, Toon River Buddy Federici and Ryan Tracy move second Sir Harry Cash, Andrew Ring third followed by make a track and Brian Coley four, Toon River weakens and then comes Mr. Hotelier Federici comes up to challenge Paige Turner on the inside they've gone on some four lengths in front of Sir Harry Cash over the second last slide Slight mistake, slight peck by Federici and Paige Turner is now two lengths in front coming down to the final fence in the Tim Duggan Memorial and Paige Turner is safely over the last from Federici who's trying hard to close on the near side. Paige Turner from Federici who's closing again as they race towards the line but it's Paige Turner all the way in the Tim Duggan Memorial handicap chase. Has won it for Ambrose McCurtain and John Joe Walsh. Federici a game second. Make a track back in third and Sir Harry Cash. Toon River by...
positions to fourth and then Rat Patrick and Definite Earl racing down now towards the second last Velocity Boy in a slightly reduced advantage Enumerator and the Mighty Milan both trying hard to close on the one in front Velocity Boy who's one flight left to go Velocity Boy Barry Cash has a look over his right shoulder Enumerator and the Mighty Milan at this stage making little impression and it's Velocity Boy out in front stolen on the far side and will come home alone here it's Velocity Boy and Barry Cash clear cut winners for trainer Willie Murphy Enumerator is second best the Mighty Milan is third Red Patrick is fourth followed home by a dream still alive and then Monaster 8 and Paulig and Definite Edel Enumerator and the mighty Milan, a dream still alive, has dropped back a few positions to fourth, and then Rat Patrick and Definite Earl racing down now towards the second last. Velocity Boy in a slightly reduced advantage. Enumerator and the mighty Milan both trying hard to close on the one in front. Velocity Boy, who's one flight left to go. Velocity Boy, Barry Cash has a look over his right shoulder. Enumerator and the mighty Milan at this stage making little impression, and it's Velocity Boy out in front stolen on the far side and will come home alone here. It's Velocity Boy and Barry Cash clear cut winners for trainer Willie Murphy Enumerator is second best, the Mighty Milan is third, Red Patrick is fourth, followed home by a dream still alive and then Monaster Carson is fourth, being followed by Hard Bot, who's running on. Barusha and Spatzel Hill are next as they race for the second last flight. And it's written in the stars on the inside, and Eamon Corbett, who's going to rise in company with Misty Lady and John Cullen on the near side. They've gone clear of the remainder as they come down now towards the final flight. And written in the stars has just taken the measure of Misty Lady at the final flight. Written in the stars for Misty Lady in second. There's now a length and a half between them. Make it two. Running up towards the finish and it's written in the stars and Eamon Corbett who draw on to win by at least three lengths Misty Lady is second, third is hard bought and then in fourth Clara Moore with Moon Underwater five and written in the stars moves up strongly challenged on the outside by Misty Lady then Clara Moore in third Fort Carson is fourth, being followed by Hard Bot, who's running on. Barusha and Spatzel Hill are next as they race for the second last flight. And it's written in the stars on the inside, and Eamon Corbett, who's going to rise in company with Misty Lady and John Cullen on the near side. They've gone clear of the remainder as they come down now towards the final flight. And written in the stars has just taken the measure of Misty Lady at the final flight. Written in the stars for Misty Lady in second. There's now a length and a half between them. Make it two. Right Running up towards the finish, and it's written in the stars. And Eamon Corbett, who draw on to win by at least three lengths. Misty Lady is second, third is hard bought, and then in fourth, Clara Moore with Moon Underwater five. Fort Carson next ahead of. from Windy Millie on the near side who moves into third. Lisnagar star four and five is Davy from Milan. Racing down towards the second last Cork Citizen and Aurora Bell on the near side. They're over stride for stride as they come down now towards the final fence in the Earl of Harrington Memorial Maiden Hunters and just with the advantage Cork Citizen. Aurora Bell on the near side is continuing to press Cork Citizen as they race up towards the finish. It's Cork Citizen and Maxine O'Sullivan. They're going to hold Aurora Bell in third in the race last year. Cork Citizen goes to spots better and wins for Maxine O'Sullivan. Beats a gallant Aurora Bell and Ambrose McCurtain into second to challenge Cork Citizen and Maxine O'Sullivan who go to the front. And these two open up now from Windy Millie on the near side who moves into third. Lisnagar star four and five is Davy from Milan. Racing down towards the second last Cork Citizen and Aurora Bell on the near side. They're over stride for stride as they come down now towards the final fence in the Earl of Harrington Memorial Maiden Hunters. And just with the advantage Cork Citizen, Aurora Bell on the near side is Continuing to press Cork Citizen as they race up towards the finish. It's Cork Citizen and Maxine O'Sullivan. They're going to hold Aurora Bell in third in the race last year. Cork Citizen goes to spots better and wins for Maxine O'Sullivan. Beats a gallant Aurora
Lane there in the centre just goes to the front, followed by Margaret, Chris Kendall, right in the centre of the track, Special Princess, then Anna Holty with Queen's Wild and Seeking Susan, but Whistle Dixie now goes on smoothly, racing towards the final furlong, Whistle Dixie out in front, good battle going on for minor money, it would appear, with Special Princess on the near side, of on the far side, Chris Kendall, Margaret between horses with Seeking Susan, but it's Whistle Dixie out about six, seven lengths in front, under Stephen Clements is going to be another winner for Gordon Elliott as Whistle Dixie wins on race course introduction, Seeking Susan has won the second, followed in third by Margaret and then Special Princess and Chris Kendall. And off the home turn, two and a half furlongs now to bring them home. Whistle Dixie coming there in the centre, just goes to the front, followed by Margaret, Chris Kendall, right in the centre of the track. Special Princess, then Anna Holty with Queen's Wild and Seeking Susan. But Whistle Dixie now goes on smoothly, racing towards the final furlong. Whistle Dixie out in front, good battle going on for minor money. It would appear with Special Princess on the near side, of on the far side, Chris Kendall, Margaret between horses with Seeking Susan, but it's Whistle Dixie out about six, seven lengths in front. Under Stephen Clements is going to be another winner for Gordon Elliott as Whistle Dixie wins on race course introduction. Seeking Susan has won the second, followed in third by Margaret and then Special Princess and Chris Kendall.